Hi there guys, I just thought I'd share a unboxing video of a wine opener. Now you may wonder why I would want to do that, what's special about it. Well, I'll let you know in this video, but this is um, from France, from a company called Forge de la Goule. I hope I pronounced that right, any French viewers can correct me. Um, so it's a wine opener, it's a sommelier's knife, as they call it. And uh, it just arrived today. Let's check it out. So here's the package. I'm doing this all one-handed, so forgive me if my camera work isn't that great. I already cut the tape, and this is what comes inside of the package. Get rid of this box. So wrapped in plastic here, and we've got a little leaflet there. So we'll take a look at that. So this is the company here, Forge de la Goule. La, de la Goule, la Goule. I'm not sure. I don't speak very good French. You any French? Um, this is what came with it. So we've got our invoice there and a leaflet. So who are they? Um, so La Goule is a place in France. Uh, you can see on the map here, they show you where it is. It's kind of central France. No, it's uh, southern France in the center of this province, whatever that province of France is called. Um, and they have been making knives there hundreds of years, and it says somewhere in here when they started, 1828. So that would be uh, another few years, it'll be 200 years of uh, knife making. So they are artisans, they make uh, knives, they're all handcrafted. They have these sommelier knives, which is what we've got here. They do normal table knives, folding knives, um, they do forks and spoons as well. They forge it all themselves there, it's all handcrafted. Comes with a really nice leaflet here, tells you all about what makes them special. So there's their own forge. It's all done by hand. They use a special type of steel. And um, they have a selection of different types of handles. So you go on their website and um, you'll see there's bunches of different handles that you can order. They do bone handles, um, antler handles, wooden handles, different types of woods. They've even done them out of fossilized mammoth tusks. There's all sorts of things that they make the handles from. And uh, this is one of their symbols. So you'll see here, this B will be on every one of the knives. It's all hand done. So a really nice craftsmanship. So that is the leaflet that just tells you about who Forge de la Goule are. So what you're buying here really um, is not just the, yeah, you can go and buy a sommelier's knife in the hardware store, um, in the home depot store and it'll do the job and i'm sure it does the job just as good as this but what you're buying here is you know into a piece of history the craftsmanship and you're supporting still these um artisans um so this slides out i'll try and do this one-handed not so easy just forgive me a second slide this off there you go so that slides off you're left with this box here and inside of there, we have the Certificate of Authenticity. Um, so, as Le Goule is a place, um, I believe that, you know, there are a lot of copies, and they will call themselves Le Goule knives, but only the ones that come from the Forge de Le Goule are the real, um, you know, handcrafted, artisan-made knives. So, there we go. This is what it comes with. Comes with a little leather pouch that you can keep it in. And wrapped in plastic here is ours. So I chose the one which has, I think this is juniper wood handle. Um, so it's got a beautiful pattern to it. You see here all this hand engraved pattern also on there. Um, and then on the end here is the B that they talk about there. There's the their signature B on the end. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, um, juniper wood with a satin stainless steel finish. Now, not all of them come with this engraving here. I think only the satin ones and some of the handles, for some reason, some of the handle options don't come with the engraving option. Um, now, there is an option also to have it engraved with your own name or a message for someone. So that's also available. Um, so you can go to their website 
which is um, forgedelagul.com. I'll put the link in the video description below and you can have a look at what they've got. So this is a kind of standard sommelier's knife. So that opens up there. Um, the metal you can see is of good quality, thick. It's got uh, made in France. Stamped on the inside of there. And uh, I believe that this is a five helix corkscrew. Just get that open. So we should have five helixes there. It's one, two, three, four, five. So five twists, five helix corkscrew. This apparently is the optimum size, according to them. Um, so you can just see the craftsmanship is really, really nice. Everything lines up, everything is smooth. There's no sharp edges on here, obviously apart from the pointy edge there and on the end of the knife, but on the areas that you're touching, there's no sharp edges. It's just really nice. So you use this like a regular corkscrew, put that in. This is the fulcrum, goes on the um, rim of the uh, wine bottle and you can lever out then the corkscrew. Um, it also comes with on the other side, of course, Somalia's knife. It also comes with the knife as well. If we open that up. So this here doubles as a um, bottle opener. So you can open regular beer bottles. It's got the Forge de la Goule logo engraved in there. And the edge of this can be used to cut around the top of your wine bottle to cut off the um, wax or plastic seal that they have over the cork. So it's got everything you need to open up a bottle of wine or a bottle of beer. Beautiful handcrafted piece of equipment. So this will not make the wine taste any better. It won't make your beer taste any better. Um, is it worth the money? Well, it depends on you. You know, uh, this was a couple of hundred euros. Seems like a lot of money. It is a lot of money for what it does, but on the other hand, it is um, very, very finely crafted, handmade, and you're supporting you no know, artisans and uh, and a 200 year old business. So a business won't be around for 200 years if people didn't see the value in it. Um, as with most branded things, you're paying for the name, you're paying for the craftsmanship, um, you're not just paying for the material. Um, would I buy one again? Probably yes. In fact, I'm considering getting a whole dining set um, from them, possibly for next Christmas. Um, it's very, very nice. You know, if you appreciate quality things, then I would definitely recommend checking out Forge de la Goule and um, see what see what they've got that maybe takes your fancy. So they have uh, handles. I was torn between this. And another handle they had, which was um, an oak barrel handle, which I guess was from a wine um, barrel. They also had some um, fossilized wood as well, petrified wood. So um, depending on what they've got, you know, available depends on what 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 kind of handles you can get. But I went for this juniper one because I do like the the patterning to it, the grain of the wood, and this lovely shiny finish. I can't really, you know put across in the video how it feels to hold. But you know when you feel something or you touch something and you just know that it's of, of quality? Well, that is, um, that is what I could say about this. So if you appreciate fine wine, if you appreciate fine dining, and you appreciate fine things, then I recommend getting a Forge de la Goule sommelier's knife.